Good afternoon, everyone. Um, how are you all doing today? Okay, good. I hope you had a good lunch, but not a very good lunch. Right? <laughs> I'm hoping you, you kind of stay awake during this and uh, you know can interact and uh, get to know the nice, nice, lively session. Also, I'm hoping nobody's hiding in eggs or tomatoes or you know, those kinds of things. But I have a place to hide if you do. Um, all right. So, uh, brief intro. My name is Sesh or Sushadri. Um, I work for a company called IHS. I'm a principal project manager, um, responsible for agile transformation across uh, the company. Uh, part of what I do is help some of the forecasting, budgeting, and planning uh, for the training sessions we do as part of our conferences. Uh, I have a colleague here, Sean Dunn, some other colleagues also, um, and uh, Scott Weatherby also right now is working here. And he's got some sessions going on as well. Um, so there are two reasons why I'm here in, um, in Bangalore. First one, obviously, is for this session. The second reason is um, we are helping our India team transform at this point. Uh, we are starting the planning the seeds of transformation in our India uh, office here. So in the next couple of weeks, after this week, uh, Sean and I will be um, doing that, you know, training our teams in Agile, uh, Scrum Master Group guys, and, and some sessions like that. So the two things I want to talk about mainly, the first one is culture. The second thing is the impact of culture on Agile transformation. What do we mean by culture, and how does it impact whatever you're trying to do across your, your organization? So let's read some common understanding of, of the definition of what we are trying to discuss. Uh, let's look at what transformation actually means. So transformation is a slow or dramatic change in form or appearance. And what is culture? Culture is the attitudes and behavior characteristic of a particular social group. Now, what constitutes a social group, right? So there are teams of developers, are they a social group? Um, the organization level, is the organization a social group? And is Bengaluru, uh, are the inhabitants, residents of Bengaluru a social group? And are inhabitants of India a social group? Um, based on, the, on, the, on what it says, it seems like it is. If you look at uh, your team level, maybe all your developers are exhibiting a certain characteristic, a certain um, way of doing things. That makes them part of a developer culture. And the same is true of your organization. Uh, transcending your team level, maybe your organization has certain values and principles they want to inculcate in you. That will constitute some kind of a culture as well at the organization level. Um, you know, Bangalore is, is a great place. I was here a couple of years ago on, on vacation with my family, and it was a really nice time. Um, this is a happening city. This is a, uh, a vibrant, uh, young, youthful, restful, uh, energetic city, except for the traffic. Other than that, it's, it's fantastic. Um, so my hope is that my, 